Good afternoon, junior soldiers. Welcome aboard Sally Airlines. I'm going to be taking you through some of the usual procedures you might encounter during a service, specifically toward the last part, to make sure you know what to do in the event of an event. If you could direct your attention here to the front, be sure to familiarize yourself with this area here, known as the mercy seat. You might recognize it as where we are forbidden to practice our balance beam routines. Even though the top totally looks very much like a balance beam, and it's not even church right now, the captain has made it perfectly clear and turned on the no climbing sign on the mercy seat at this time, and all the time. So, what do we do here? Well, if you'll direct your attention to the lovely padded areas here near the floor, you'll see that this is a perfect place to pray. Indeed, that is its purpose. So, how do you pray at the mercy seat? First, locate the exit nearest to you on your pew, remembering that the nearest exit may be to the left or right, and that you should definitely use the closest one and not climb over so many people. Also, dropping to the floor and yelling legs up and then rolling to the front is not smiled upon. It's effective, but ultimately disruptive. Don't ask me how I know that. Once you're approaching the mercy seat, you'll notice that it's very user-friendly. There really isn't a wrong way to come forward. Once you're here, you'll notice that there are some tissues available, whether you're an emotionally rich person or just suffer from seasonal allergies like myself. <laughs> Perfect. While the mercy seat is technically open at all times, and you could come down, say, during the offertory, most people use it at the end of the service, or during the response time. Once the captain, major, or whomever has activated the mercy seat at the end of their sermon, you'll know that it's time. Music is often a good indicator that we've entered into that portion of the service. While you're down here, you may be accompanied by an adult. Don't be alarmed. They're here to help, and have been down here many times themselves. Feel free to share with them as much or as little as you feel comfortable. Once you're finished, you can simply get up and head back to the closest available pew, or your pew of origin. If the music changes to a song where people are clapping, that is a good indicator that the captain is wrapping things up. Don't feel rushed though, you can take as much time as you need. Though, if you ride the van home, you may want to keep an eye on the driver. Once you're back in your seat, make sure that the songbooks are stored in the pew backs, and the bulletins are collected for disposal. Okay, seriously though, if you want to know how to use the mercy seat, you just pray. That's it. Nothing scary about it, really. You can pray, have people pray with you, and reflect on what came from the sermon, or what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. All good stuff. Don't sweat it. It's hard to get it wrong. I mean, they don't call it the mercy seat for nothing. <laughs>